The visitors with the ball. They lead by the biggest margin of the game at nine. And that's a one-game homestand for the club. And on the floor for J.B. Bickerstaff as we get into the second half. And there's the lob. Woo! I just love that alley-oop slam, B.A. Defense disorganized, defense pays. Boy, I tell you what, guys, this is really getting close to being real ugly. Pass to Watanabe. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. <laughs> Man, he made sure to get his money's worth on that foul. He got him good there. I mean, that's why the shot was so far off. Shooting two. And he drops the first. That one's no good. Shooting just 42% so far in the game. Here's Diaz. Nails the baby hook. Diaz has got 15. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. Yeah, you can't say that with enough emphasis. I mean, the defenders are just not being aggressive enough down low. You got to play with some physicality in the paint. Here's Watanabe. Solid shot from a distance of about 14 feet. Give him eight. Not the most effective pick, but he salvages the play with a terrific move. Hachimura covering. Out left to the wing. Here's Caboclo. No good on the triple. Caboclo's gone two of five from the field here. First minute and a half of basketball played here in the third quarter. Here's Watanabe. Oh, he missed the layup. He had it with the pump fake. Got two of three from the floor in this third quarter. To the wing, right side. Here's Caboclo. Misses the three. You know, guys, you can tell he wants to contribute more, but his teammates have picked up the slack for him. That's what being on the team is all about. Yes, it's good. High percentage play. He's excellent around the rim. They've done a great job of moving the ball tonight. Yeah, B.A., keeping everybody involved keeps everyone engaged. Hachimura covering. Six to shoot. Second half of play here with just under two and a half minutes passed. Goal from deep. On oh, target from range. Up until that shot, to me, it appeared as though he was pressing. Maybe that calms him down now. Gets him into a better, more relaxed groove. Pass to Watanabe. Hachimura, right side. Five on the clock. Shoots from the line. That's miss number five on the night. Six for 11 now. And really a reflection of their superior effort level to this point. And it seems to me they've gone after this win a little bit more. Count it. 11 points in the game. Shooting only 40% from the floor in this game. Pass to Watanabe. 
A little under three and a half minutes off the clock now in the third quarter. Watanabe can't get it to go. Well, that's a look he has to finish, and he knows it. Lone opportunity. The turnaround jumper. Count that one. He's scoring at a nice clip. He's six of nine tonight. And he couldn't get an easier shot. The defense right now just looks defeated. Well, that's exactly the kind of defense that's gotten him into the hole. Shot to stop the run. He can't get it to go. The perimeter game has failed him thus far. Hit one from range in the first half, but nothing since. Drives to the hoop. Pass to Diaz. To the left side wing. Second shot opportunity. And the jumper is good. And just totally relentless. Only increasing the intensity level. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming. Attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal. Hachimura with the ball. 14 points for him. Here's Watanabe. From 12 feet. They shoot again. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Shooting two. First one falls for him. And Grant, some players feel like certain officials have it out for him. Did you ever see any of that? You know what, B.A., the refs are human too. Yes, I did say that. <laughs> but they're supposed to be impartial. So you go after them for a while, it's possible they will hold a grudge. And both free throws good for Achimura gone six for nine in the half. Come to me, come to me. To the left wing. Clock at six. And that puts them just one foul from the bonus. Yep, they'll be trying to draw that next foul quickly so they can start getting those easy chances at the strike. Hachimura covering. Pass to Neto. Just five on the clock. Fires, top of the key. Hachimura with a rebound. Gotten only two of seven shots to go in the third quarter. That's tipped. The layup off target. Shooting at about 44% so far. To the paint, Diaz. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. And he knocks down the first one. Yeah. 
So he makes one of two, and the second one misses. Maranami passes to Achimura from the baseline. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. And here now are the teams that have made a difference with their defense in the past 10 games. Well, over these last few games, they've been putting excellent pressure on the ball handlers and then turning those forced errors into easy points. Shooting two. He misses the free throw. And the second free throw is good. gotten six of ten shots to fall in this third quarter. Shot clock at six. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. First one at the line is good. And so he hits both. Gotten just 25% of their shots to fall since the half. Two for eight. Pass to Watanabe. And the sweet roll that time on the rim. That one falls. Watanabe's got seven points in the game. He does not lack for confidence. Um, he shouldn't. I mean, this guy is a dangerous scorer. Here's Felicio. Here's Neto, providing this team some offensive stability. A little over 10 points a game. They're going old school out there now. Working the mid-range part of the floor. They keep pulling up and watching them go down. It's a really nice thing to see. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. Brian, some teams are hoping that the league will implement what they call an upper spending limit and others might call a hard cap. Small market teams being dramatically outspent by their deeper pocketed big town rivals. And while this may remedy that, it's not a move that the players are likely to embrace. So, Brian, we'll see what happens. Yeah, we will indeed. That second apron might have the same effect. Allie, thanks. Here's Neto. Soft touch off the glass. He has six. And trust me, when the D's slow to react, he'll be the first guy to make them pay. Boy, the defense looks shell-shocked. I mean, they're on the ropes right now, on their heels. Pass to Watanabe. Tries it from the top of the key, and he hits the jumper. Yeah, you know, we've seen a much different version of him in this half, guys. He's been sharper, more focused, and more assertive. Here's Caboclo, and there's the rejection, and it's out of bounds. They say it was last touched by Hachimura. Oh. 
The visitors with the ball. Deflected. The rebound by Felicio. Felicio's got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. The shot's good. Outstanding distribution there. I mean, what impressive passing ability. Gotten five of 12 shots to drop in the third. And Kaboko pulls it down. It's not easy to finish in traffic, but those are chances he has to convert. Shooting a disappointing 38%. Uses the glass on the layup. You know, with his handles, he excels at tricking up the defense and getting the good looks he wants. Can't cash it in from close range. Gotten six of 14 shots to drop in this third quarter. Rob! Here's Neto. Six points for him. To the middle. Hachimura covering. Clock at four. Neto's shot is good. Neto's got nine points. Slow defensive rotation causing a breakdown along the perimeter. Pass to Hachimura. Got a piece of it. Out to the wing. Inside. Fires from the line. Neto grabs the miss. And right now, they're plus eight in the rebounding category. That's helping them run away with this. Yeah, double-digit advantage on the scoreboard. Uh, they've taken the initiative. They've played, I think, with more purpose so far. They've been going to him an awful lot this game, and you can see why. He's pouring it on. Pass to Achimura. Oh, he gets it to go. 7 of 13 now. His arrow's been trending up as of late, and he's been magnificent tonight. I wasn't quite sure if he'd be able to maintain that same level of play. I had my doubts coming into this game, but consider my doubts disappeared. Pass to Caboclo. Fires from deep. Counted from distance. He has seven. Their strategy has been pretty simple here in the second half. Attack from three-point range. Certainly. I mean, they saw a weakness in the perimeter defense and took advantage of it. And it's in there. Boy, he's really been dominant in this one. Unfortunately, he hasn't had much help. No good with a layup. That's going up against a defense that knows your tendencies. There's 37 seconds left in the third quarter. Off target with the free throw line, Jay. They have really been in control of this one. You don't want to get complacent here. Pass to Neto. There's 21 seconds left in the third. There's the three. Gets it. He's six for ten and looking confident out there. This defense is getting spaced out. Three of the last five buckets have come from way beyond the arc. And they're on the run. And he makes a first. Break. 
That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Just four seconds left to play in the third. With one on the clock. The shot comes out. And three quarters of play in the books. This one's all but over already. Delivering the blowout. And time to step away quickly, but we'll be back in no time with the start of the fourth quarter. And a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. You can count on him to deliver a few assists like this one each and every night. It sure is. I mean, he's a maestro. Great vision, terrific IQ, everything you want in a point guard. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. Hachimura covering. And the three-point contest is one of the highlights of All-Star Weekend. Here are some of the contenders who have a shot to compete in the event. And perhaps that list changes a little between now and All-Star Weekend, but I would have no problems if those guys end up competing. You take a look at Watanabe. He's going to need to move up this list big time to be part of the three-point contest. But he's got a shot. Maybe. Especially if he can get hot from beyond the arc. And he certainly has the ability to do so. And we'll keep you posted as we get closer to All-Star Weekend. But that's our current list for the three-point contest. It's going to be a fantastic competition. We've got an endless supply of shooters in this league, and that contest will be heated. Kept alive. Nice shot by Caboclo. They've shown the power inside. Their rebounding effort has been sensational. Guys, that's putting it mildly. I mean, they've been absolutely dominant. Pass to Watanabe. Now here's Hachimura. The Clark, the Stars may be extending their primes, but on average, the NBA is becoming a young man's game. Well, I don't think that's going to change. I mean, the demands of the game make it a young person's game. By percentage, the league has half as many players in their 30s as it did in the 90s. It's faster paced. It's more demanding. There's more movement. There's more wear and tear. I think it continues to favor younger leg to the inside it's intercepted first minute and a half of basketball played here in the fourth pass to Diaz misses the layup Puts it up from 12. Oh, they get a hand on it. Now, the defense was far from awful. However, he's still got to make these shots, in my opinion. We're about two minutes into the fourth here. Here's Watanabe. No good with the elbow jumper. Hard to turn down a look that good. Still, long twos are losing favor, and misses like that are the reason why. He buries that one. Back rim and in. Well, you really can't get too upset at the defense there. I mean, they were there, but just not good enough to prevent the mid-range jumper from falling.
So both teams changing it up here. Fourth quarter play. We're about two and a half minutes through it now. Here's Diaz. Banked it in off the glass. Taking it right at the rack. I mean, that defense is looking real frustrated. Well, they should be. I mean, it has not been a good performance for them at that end of the floor. We're in the final quarter play here. Three minutes in. Off target at the rim. And their physical dominance has been on display. A 10 rebound advantage is a good indicator of how this game has gone. A bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. Oh, he drains it. His sixth make and nine tries so far. Good, solid execution inside. That's exactly the look you want. Here's Caboclo. The three is up. And it's Watanabe with a rebound. Down low. Offensive rebound. Oh, it's blocked. It deflects off the backboard. And that goes out of bounds. And they'll keep possession. On defense, the visiting team. They've given up just eight points in the fourth. Down to five on the shot clock. Pass to Watanabe. Second chance effort. He can't get that one to fall. Not a bad look for him on that shot, but it just doesn't seem to be his night tonight. Here's Diaz. Launches a three. No good. Eight for 11 from the floor now. The shooter thought he had enough space, but the defender was right on him. You know, that's a trademark of his defense. Quick to react, close down the shooter, and then affect the shot. He's come out here in the second half and done a nice job moving, getting good looks, and finding his range. Pass to Caboclo. Three-pointer. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Thursday, then on Saturday, they continue the road trip, heading to the Bay to take on the Warriors. The road is never the highlight of your schedule for any team, but for these guys, it is a chance to go out there, test themselves, and see how well they gel outside of home court. It could be a very valuable experience. First free throw is good. And that's good as he hits both shots. gotten five of 12 shot attempts to go so far in the fourth quarter. Pass to Watanabe. Six on the shot clock. Here's Watanabe. A deep three. No luck on that one. I think he's gone completely dry. Nothing is hitting. And, you know, you can sense his frustration. This is going to be a test of his resolve here. Inside. Got a hand on it.
to the middle. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. Man, good whistle there. Yeah, you can hear the smack all the way over here where we are. Shooting two. The first one falls. And he makes both free throws. Got two of eight shots to drop in the final quarter. From behind the arc. It's not going to go for him. And that's a strong closeout defensively. Great effort to deter the shot. Diaz with a rebound. Diaz has got rebound number eight now. You know, he looks a little off kilter to me this quarter. Still trying to find his rhythm. Caboclo misses. Well, most games he can knock it down from deep, but it just isn't there for him in this one. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. That's a textbook example of how to move the ball. Boy, you got to love that action. He tries for three. Knocks it down from distance. Got to fight harder to get over those screens. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. Pass to Watanabe. Takes a three. The shot, no good. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if he gets yanked soon. I mean, that's how bad his shot selection has been. Here's Diaz. Shot clock at six. The steal. Watanabe goes in. And he's six for 12 after that one. In the NBA, you just can't let guys get to the rim. Shooting 27% here in the fourth. Six to shoot. Pass to Caboclo. Here's Diaz. And it's Watanabe with a rebound. He was so well positioned to interfere with the shot. Yeah, I agree with you. I mean, he challenged the shot, and you can see the effects on the release of that shot. I mean, it turned a simple jumper into a tough one. to Diaz. Can't hit from the elbow. He's lost his momentum in a big hurry. Coming off an excellent quarter, now he just can't find the bucket. Here's Watanabe looking to end this cold spell. That shot, no good. So far, rebounding has been a big factor tonight. Yep, and they've simply shown more aggressiveness, out guys. More desire to secure the ball. Stepped on the line. Out of bounds there. And that will cost him a possession. Shooting around 42% as we continue play in the fourth quarter. to Watanabe. From downtown. 
Watanabe can't get it to go. Not sure if he just ran out of gas or what. He's been awful ever since the second half started. He's not even been a factor. Hachimura covering. Pass to Diaz. Misses, and the dry spell continues. Shooting only 40% from the floor in this game. Here's Watanabe, and it's flushed down, and that's jam. Doing what he can to help shrink the deficit, but it has to be a team effort. Hachimura covering. Hachimura with a rebound. A minute 50 left to play in the fourth. And he converts the layup. Hachimura's got nine points now in the second half. Not to be denied, Hachimura has a great motor and competes with the best of them. Hachimura covering. Oh, nice finish from the low block. That one's good. A minute 22 left in the fourth. Can't connect from short range. A perfect example of how to protect the rim. And you know, guys, I love his fight and grit on the interior. I mean, he never lets a shot go uncontested. And they'll get another chance. They grab the long rebound, resetting the shot clock. It doesn't go for him. Shooting only 42%. There's 48 seconds left in the fourth. Here's Diaz. And it's Watanabe with a rebound. I don't know if you can credit the defense for that. It was just a missed opportunity. To the inside. What a knobby shot is good. And he's coming off a huge performance, and his confidence couldn't be any higher. And his coach knows that, too. Showing no signs of slowing or cooling down. They're going to ride him as far as he can take him. Eight-second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Pass to Diaz. And there it is for him. Yeah, they blocked out the noise, blocked out the distractions, kept on grinding, and this is their reward. Boy, a fantastic performance. And I'll tell you something, I mean, you get roadkill, that's always a challenge in the NBA, no matter what, and they got it done. And so it's a victory for the road team in this one. It ends up being a fairly easy road win. Those are so hard to come by. It's never easy to take a game in someone else's building. And that'll do it, folks. For Clark Kellogg, Allie LaForce, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening.